Many of you have asked me this question that Shrey, do we really need to learn the Salesforce admin and app builder part even if we want to become a Salesforce developer? So here are the five reasons that I have noted down because of which you should think of learning the Salesforce admin and app builder part as well even if you want to become a developer. So let's see what they are. Before going to the reasons, uh, let me first make you understand what is the job of a Salesforce administrator and a Salesforce developer. First of all, both the people work for the companies or the businesses who are using Salesforce and who wants to increase their productivity or do their functionalities or perform their functionalities with the help of Salesforce uh, in the form of applications. Admin creates the applications or customize the platform according to the needs and uh, requirements of the business with the help of point and click approach or point and click tools or declarative approach. The, like there's no coding uh, like coding compulsion for administrators. Administrators are not required to code. Whereas developers are there to create a new application or customize the application with the help of code. So this is the basic difference. But there is one similarity between both of these profiles and that is they both serve a business to solve the problems that they are facing and provide the solutions of those problems on Salesforce platform. Now let's talk about the number one reason because of which we really need to think of learning the Salesforce admin and the app de uh, developer part. Number one, reduce your effort. Yes, if you really want to become a good Salesforce developer, you really need to know the admin and the app builder part because you need to know what things can be implemented with the point and click tools or the declarative approach or declarative tools that are provided by Salesforce itself. Why you need to write down the code? Why you need to write, why you need to write down piles and piles of code to do the functionality that you can really do in just five minutes with the help of the tool that is already available over there like process builder. We can create like insane automations with the help of process builder and there's no coding skill that is required for that. It's beneficial for the developer because it reduces their efforts and time and for the business as well because the problem of the uh, like the problem is solved in a very less time. So it's a win-win situation. You, so it reduces your effort. That's the first reason. Second reason, even if you uh, like want to be a developer and you will not perform the functionalities which the admin will perform because uh, in your company or for whosoever your client is, they have their own administrator to do that stuff. You really need to know when to code and when not to code. So this is the second reason. You need to know the line, the thin line between uh, or the difference uh, that which functionality really needs to be done with the help of coding or implemented with the help of coding and which functionality can be done without coding or which solution can be provided without coding. You need to know that thin line and learning the admin part will tell you that what is that particular line or like what functionalities can be done or what uh, solutions can be implemented using point and click tools and what solution for what solutions or for which solutions you really need to do the code or you really need to write the code. The third reason, understanding of the business and the standard objects that are present into Salesforce. So if you learn the admin and the app builder part, you tend to know or you, you're taught the standard objects that are present onto the platform and the business processes of different different companies. So you really need to learn that part if you want to be a good developer. A good developer needs to understand the business process because at the end, you're serving a business. You're not serving a scientist, you're serving a business. So you need to have that kind of mindset to understand the needs and requirements that your business has or the problems that your business is facing and then uh, you should be able to provide the solution of it and how you can do that how uh, i mean you can like use the pre-built functionality that are present over there uh, in standard objects or you can create your own functionality and let me tell you what these standard objects are if you're not aware of it so standard objects are basically the objects which are which are which needs to be used or which are used by most of the businesses. Like every business has a customer, yes or no, they have. So there is an object, there is an object in Salesforce which is already provided by Salesforce itself called as account. And that account object, uh, like no matter what the business is, even if it is a healthcare industry or even if it is uh, a marketing agency or even if it is a uh, like telecommunications company, they all should store their the information of the customers into account standard object instead of creating a custom object for that. I've seen a lot of developers out there who create custom objects for customers. Are you serious? Like you're creating an application for a school uh, and you are like storing the information of the students in a custom object. Why do you need to do that? 
I mean, there is already an object which provides most of the functionalities that are that needs to be done uh, with your customers or that needs to be there uh, when it when, when it comes to your customers. So it is already present in, uh, present in Salesforce platform as a standard object. Why do you need to create your own object and like create every functionality from scratch when you already have it uh, available? So you get the understanding of all the standard objects that are present and you use them instead of creating your custom objects and creating the functionalities from scratch. That's the third reason. Reason number four. So you're serving a business, both of you, admin and a developer. If uh, a developer knows the admin part, then what is the need of the admin? You can do all the things by yourself. You really need uh, need not to be dependent on another person who, do, who will do the admin stuff and based on that you will implement the solutions. You can do all the things on your own and that's an advantage. Number five and the most important reason why you need to learn the admin part in order to be a developer and even if you want to be a developer. So like okay it's absolutely fine you want to be a developer today but like after working as a developer for two years, you want to explore more, you want to grow more, you want to boost your career to the next level. How you're planning to do that? You can only do that. Like if, let's take an example. If you want, if you want to be a consultant, you need to have the admin experience as well. And you need, you, if you want to give this consultant exam, certification exam as well, ADM 201, which is Salesforce Certified Administrator Certificate is a prerequisite to apply or to give the consultant certificate exam. So imagine how important it is. So like, if you want to keep your options open and if you want to boost your career, you really, really need to learn the admin part as well. Not only the coding, no matter who is telling you that uh, only the developer part will work or you only need to learn the programming in order to get a job in Salesforce. Today, it can be good for you to get a job into the industry or to enter into the Salesforce ecosystem, but definitely if you talk about uh, a longer perspective or if you think of a longer perspective or a, of a like broader vision, if you want to keep your options open and if you want to grow exponentially, you really need to know all the things about the Salesforce as a platform and that you can learn from the admin and the app builder part. Now, if you are working as a Salesforce developer and you have gone through the similar phase where the admin knowledge has actually helped you out to become a better developer or a, like a good developer or a good consultant or if uh, it has helped you in any way in your career please please i would like request you to share your story down in the comments share your experience down in the comments so that i can share it with other people as well to motivate them to learn the admin and the app builder part uh, even if they want to become the developer and also share this video with the people who are struggling into uh, learning the Salesforce development or who are learning the Salesforce development and let them know that why the Salesforce admin and app builder part is also important if you want to boost their career. And now if you haven't subscribed to this channel then make sure to hit the subscribe button over here and if you're watching this video on LinkedIn or Facebook there's a link down in the description just hit that link go to the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button because this is the best channel on YouTube about Salesforce. You're gonna get all the information about Salesforce over here just let me know. I'm the Hal. See you next time. Until then bye-bye. Take care.